Hello and welcome back to my series of videos about old calculators. In a previous video I was showing you this device which is the Goldman um, adding machine and this one is pretty old. This is from uh, late 1800 so you would say around 1900 uh, so at least 100 years old. Uh, mechanical adding machine so it's easy to add numbers and uh, well used you know in the beginning of 1900 however to make multiplication using this device it's not so easy you just have to repeat the addition as many times as you want to multiply let's say you want to multiply by 33 you have to do that 33 times so today let's talk about another mechanical calculator which is this one and this one is from USSR, uh, the old Russian Federation, so from Russia. And uh, if you can read uh, Russian, this should say Felix. And so I was curious about this model here, and I look up the name Felix on the web. And you have to look up for the keyword Iron Felix. And when you do that, you will find that uh, the creator of this device is Felix Dzerzinski um, sorry about the pronunciation and uh, this guy was a famous Soviet guy and uh, he ended up being in the uh, Soviet secret police so I think you can hear here the name KGB so anyway um, in, in the early 1900 I think around 1924, uh, Felix saw that um, there was a machine like this made by Odner and uh, the Odner company. And in fact, Odner was the inventor of the, the machine. And he saw the machine and said, why don't we make the same thing in USSR? And what they did was just to adapt a little and make a few changes. One of them was around here. And uh, produced this machine in USSR to be used. And um, it was cheaper than just buying the Odner. And it was very easy to use and very easy to do addition, subtraction, and multiplication. So let's see how it works. So first of all, if you want to add numbers, you have to select the number here on the wheel. You have some wheels here. You have to select the number and you have to rotate here and then the numbers will appear. So let's say that you want to add 43 twice. You rotate twice and you have 86. So if you want to multiply 43 by 50, you don't have to rotate 50 times. And that's the advantage of this machine. What you can do is you can select what level of the power of 10 you want to multiply. So let's say that you have 43, you want to multiply by uh, 15. So you rotate five times for the units and then you move it one decimal and you rotate one time and you can see here that the hundreds moved I'll, I'll explain again later it, it will be easier but to understand how this work let's try to open it and look at the internal mechanism Okay, so I removed the top here and uh, what I want to show you is that we have a number of wheels here, one for each digit of the number and you can select what number you want to add based on this selector here. And on the back of the wheel you have a number of twos or T's here that will go out depending on the number that you select. So you can see here that every tooth is inside because I selected zero but let's select a number maybe five I think it should be five around here and when I look on the back 
you can see that you have one, two, three, four, five teeth out. So when I will turn this wheel against the other small one here, what will happen is that the wheel right in front of this teeth here, this wheel, will advance by five digit, five units. And let's say that uh, you can do that on all of the wheels here. And the idea is that once this wheel make a full turn, so 10, then the next one is incremented by one. And this is exactly the same idea as this one. As soon as you punch something bigger than 10 on the first wheel, then the next one is incremented by one, so 10, and you continue your additions. So basically that's the whole idea about tooth wheel. You have some teeth here on the back, and depending on the number that you select, you will get one, two, three, four, up to nine teeth out of the wheel. And uh, they're a little bit off because it's, it cannot, I mean, you cannot have all of them acting at the same time, otherwise you cannot carry the one, but basically that's the main idea. So now that I explain how to add some numbers, I'm going to put the cover back and we'll go back to the multiplication idea. Okay, it's all back together. And by the way, it's very easy to um, remove. You just have four screws here to remove and then you can pop up the cover. And I forgot to show you those two dials here, which are used to reset this number here and those numbers here. So why, why do we have two sets of numbers? This will be the total, I mean the final result of your calculation shown here. Uh, and this will show you how many times you turn the wheel. So let's take an example to illustrate the multiplication. I chose two random numbers, 4876 multiplied by 5321. So the idea with this machine here is to make four multiplication. So you're going to multiply this one by one. And then you're going to multiply this one by 20, again by 300, and again by 5,000. And if you remember your lessons when you were in school, you can do that. You can uh, multiply by this and add all the numbers together. So I don't want to be a math teacher. I just want to show you that this is how this machine will work. So let's select the first number, 4, 8, 7, 6. So I select 4, 8, 7, oops, and 6. Select it 4, 8, 7, 6. And I have to multiply that by 1. Okay? Done. 4, 8, 7, 6. I multiply by 1. Now I have to multiply this one by 20. So this is where the machine is very nice because you can move everything by just one um, notch here on the right and then you multiply by 10 instead of multiplying by 1. So I have to multiply this number by 20 so I need to make two turns. 1 and 2 and you will see that the numbers are moving on the fifth digit now because I moved that by one position. So again, I have to multiply now by 300. So I move that once again for one slot and I turn. So I, I have to adjust that. Sorry. One, two, and three. And finally, the 5000. I move again, one slot, oops, sorry, one slot, and I turn five times. One, two, three, and five. And this is it. You just multiply those two numbers with four easy transactions, but just by rotating the number of times that you want to multiply. Well, 
to finish on this machine here um, I showed you how to add numbers multiply by turning a certain number of time and you can see that you have also the subtraction and division so it's exactly the same thing instead of turning in this direction you turn in the other direction and instead of adding numbers you just remove them um, so that's the benefit of this machine here you can, de you can do all basic four operation by simply turning and um, I, I like the way that it's moving because it's very smooth very nice and uh, the operation is also very simple and once you finish everything simply reset and you're back to your next number so nice machine from the uh, Soviet Union and uh, I think this one was made uh, from 1924 to whatever you know up to the 70s when the electronic calculators arrived but uh, there were a bunch of them in the, in the US, USSR and uh, you can still find a few of those but uh, uh, you have to be careful that nothing is broken inside because it wasn't it wasn't the best construction of all I mean the Odner were, were known for being more resistant than this one but this one is still working very well so thanks again for listening and next time um, I think I'm going to talk about uh, a small device a small calculators that I really like uh, this one is a summit and uh, I like the way that it's built and uh, also some history about that so thanks again and see you next time